Ladies and gents, welcome to your reaction. This is the incredible stealth tech behind the tinted cockpit canopies. Okay, I never noticed this. But yeah, that is true, right? Like a, a lot of those planes have like different type of tinted uh, uh, canopies. Like you said, like the glass that opens, right? To get the pilot in. I was assuming it's just like a cool look for like a sunglass type of thing. I didn't know there's a stealth element behind it. Because that's some next level shit. You have to think about glass and their reflective properties as well for stealth. Like, hmm. Can't you make like really clear glass and just like whatever radar you throw at it will just pass through or something? Like, I don't know, man. This is gonna be interesting. Let's do it. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. So, I know which type of videos to react to more. Uh, I like watching videos like this. Obviously, tech videos, different type of uh, videos like this. And, uh, you know, I like Sandbox. I like how he covers latest news and, like, uh, connected. Lit because Stealth Flames has been in the news recently. Just talking about that like this, right? So, it's really interesting to watch his videos. But, yeah, if you want me to do any other reaction, comment down. And, yeah, let's do it. Have you ever noticed how the canopies of Stealth Fighters have an unusual tint to them? Like these shots of F-22s with a gold hue, or these of F-35s with different purple and blue hues shining through the canopy glass. Well, believe it or not, it's actually purple one. Look at that. <laughs> it's actually purple okay, and blue. There you go. Okay, purple looks fucking cool. This is blue one. Blue hues shining through the canopy Red glass. The well, believe it or not, it's actually an important part of the aircraft's stealth profile. You see, radar waves can pass right through clear glass and similar materials used for fighter canopies. And when they do, they'll find a treasure trove of hard angles and other objects that can and do reflect radar waves right back toward the receiver, including the ejection seat and even the pilot's head and helmet, compromising the aircraft's stealth. So What the fuck? I didn't even thought of that. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, glass, it would just pass through the glass. What's the problem? Oh, yeah, the seat. The guy sitting there, the guy doing this, like, that, that, that's all a problem. Like, oh, 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 I see something there. So I guess you have to have this, like, absorbent type of material. Or reflective, I guess, reflective work because the, the way it's curved, it would probably reflect it somewhere else and not back. I don't know. In order to address this, stealth fighter cockpit canopies incorporate a thin film of indium tin oxide, or ITO that serves as a sort of shield to deflect electromagnetic energy or radar waves rather than allowing it to pass through that glass and into the cockpit's interior. And believe it or not, it has a much bigger impact on the fighter stealth than you might think. To show you what I mean, let's look to the decade-spanning efforts to reduce the radar returns of the F-16 with what we commonly know as have glass treatments. Now, today's fifth generation of have glass treatments, known appropriately enough as have glass five, involve coating about 60% of the F-16 in 10 to 12 millimeters, or between 0.4 and 0.8 inches of radar absorbent materials, or RAM, borrowed directly from today's stealth fighters. Now, this adds about 220 pounds to the dry weight of the Viper, but in conjunction with an indium tin oxide coating on that cockpit canopy, reduces the fighter's estimated radar cross section by a whopping 76%, going from around 5 square meters down to just 1.2, which is. What? 1.2? Wait a minute, isn't that better than the Su 57s? <laughs> that shit is insane. Just a paint can do that. Whoa. Only a little bit bigger than Sukhoi says their Su-57 offers. But to see what indium tin oxide coatings can do all on their own, we need to go all the way back to have glass one. Okay, that's just insane to me. Like, how the fuck Su-57 is that bad at stealth where a, just simple paint on F-16 can do that? Like, that shit should piss off people. Like, okay, in Russia, like, we paid you all this budget to make a plane and you can't even make a stealth plane where just a paint will do? Why the fuck did we pay you anything to do it? Like, Sukhoi, like, you know, like, Kremlin must, like, ask Sukhoi, like, okay, what the fuck, a paint can do this, what you did? Like, this is insane. 
So I'm guessing a lot of like F16, F15 will be painted like that. Even though it will not make as stealthy as you would want, but it's just still stealthy enough. Maybe it will dupe some system, older system, who knows. So they, I'm guessing they'll go through this, I don't know. Or the very first effort to reduce the F-16's radar return, which was done by, you guessed it, vapor depositing or spraying on a thin layer of indium-10 oxide to the outside of the fighter's cockpit canopy. And very much the same way you might apply reflective coatings to a pair of sunglasses. And incredibly, that simple spray-on application did more than give the Viper's cockpit canopy a cool new gold hue. It also reduced the fighter's detectability on radar by 15%. Now, aircraft that are meant for stealth duties right from the start don't just spray this material on, but instead have it integrated into the canopy's construction right from the start. And let me tell you, these canopies are not cheap. The F-22's canopy has no metal frame, so it has to be produced as one single piece, and it reportedly costs as much as $400,000 to replace. The F-35's, on the other hand, is made of two pieces fused together, which makes them... Ch Imagine somebody just dings that canopy somehow, like just damages them, and they're like, what the fuck, that goes 400000 you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, so every time people like use these planes, they must be extremely careful cheaper to produce at the expense of a little visibility. But they've still proven troublesome. In 2019, it was revealed that some F-35 cockpit canopy materials were beginning to delaminate and separate from the glass, forcing them to be replaced after only a few hundred flight hours. Yeah, I was about to say that, like, it's a paint. Like, hmm, this is like high-tech military uh, tech material, whatever. Is paint a good thing? Like, this is something that's have a wear and tear to it. But then again, like, knowing, like, how many planes go after maintenance, Blackbird, yeah. Literally had to maintain it at a way, like, they might be making new plane every time, like, they do this shit type of, because it was disintegrating. When you have shit like that, like, yeah, paint is fine. Like, if, if it's, like, peel off, paint it again. Like, that's part of maintenance now. Or about a year's worth of regular flying. And while these cockpit canopies are cheaper than the Raptors, they're still reportedly between $119,000 and $200,000 a piece to swap out. Now that issue, however, does seem to be a thing of the past, with this problem resolved in later build F-35s, and new, more durable canopies are also being added to the older build jets. In fact, these pictures of F-35s getting tougher new indium-10 oxide-coated cockpit canopies out at Hill Air Force Base in Utah were taken just yesterday. So, in a real way, the indium-10 oxide coating on these cockpit canopies work sort of like a good pair of sunglasses, helping me to hide from direct engagement with the world and look at a bit cooler while I do it. I like how you like, wait a minute, I have a sunglass, let me use this. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. Okay, I never thought of it, but this was very fucking interesting. <sighs> Uh, you need this kind of a paint so things don't reflect from inside, which is like, yeah, it's crucial in a way. I don't know how many angles it, it might have issue because like canopy is up, like radars would be below, like, uh, but yeah, it, if like, there's any other type of radar that, yeah, so it's important that way. One thing really kind of like surprised me in this one is the Su-57 thing. Painting an F-16 makes it more stealthier than the Su-57, like what the fuck? Times like this, I'm like, I'm glad India pulled out of that program. Otherwise, all the money would have been wasted, right? Because that shit is just insane. What is Sukhoi thinking? Man, all right. All right, well, that was the incredible stealth tech behind tinted cockpit canopies by John Sandbox. If you like my next one, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.